The World Meteorological Organization has announced a new world record for the longest lightning flash. It occurred in the United States in 2017, but it's actually only been verified now. Our correspondent Siobhan McCall has the details. Fascinating. Tell us more, Siobhan. Thanks, Sally. Yes, lightning usually lasts under a second and rarely ever extends over 16 kilometers. But the record-breaking mega flash in this animation stretched an incredible 829 kilometers. It took place in the Great Plains, a storm hotspot in the U.S., and extended from eastern Texas to near Kansas City. Well, that distance is the same as between Paris and Venice in Europe. It's equivalent to driving for nine hours or flying for around 90 minutes. So this flash is fundamentally different than what a typical lightning flash looks like. You know, a typical lightning flash is usually only about 10 miles or less on a side, and that includes both in the horizontal direction as well as in the vertical direction. But the certain lightning flashes and certain thunderstorms, including those that occur here in Georgia, can become quite larger in their horizontal direction. The mega flash occurred eight years ago, but it was only discovered through a re-examination of the storm. That's because data has traditionally been collected by ground-based mapping networks. But recent advances in satellite technologies allow scientists to measure duration and extent from space. This was one of the first storms to be documented in this way. The 2017 record replaces another mega flash in 2020. That was around 768 kilometers. It was also in the Great Plains area. Scientists say it's due to the unique characteristics of the thunderstorms there. Well, lightning is a giant electrical spark. It comes from electrical charges that build up in a storm cloud. Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela is the region with the most lightning in the world, with strikes occurring around 300 days of the years. And lightning might look spectacular, but it's also dangerous. Around 24,000 people are killed by strikes every year, and more than 200,000 injured. Back to you, Sally. Thank you so much, Siobhan.